Okay, we're in Compare Apps. I've already set up a couple examples here. Um, let's take a look at my dating apps example. Quick refresher, Compare Apps enables you to compare up to five apps across the dimensions that you actually care about. So rank, downloads, revenue, engagement, etc. Um, I'm looking again at dating apps, so we're specifically looking at Zeusk, OkCupid, Clover, Tinder, and Bumble. Um, first thing that you can look at is you can actually look at how rank for each one of these apps has trended over time. And we also give you the ability to slice that data a few different ways. So already this is pretty interesting information, but then you can actually slice it by market. So what territory, you can slice it by time, and then you can also slice it by category. So you can look at top overall, social networking, and lifestyle. And these are the categories in which these apps exist. Um, scrolling down, uh, this is actually, while it's a, a, a simpler visualization, it's actually really impactful. So what this enables us to do is compare these apps side by side and their rank for specific territories. So we're looking at top overall in iOS for downloads, and we can see that Tinder blows these other dating apps away. But if we jump into social networking as a category, we can see that Tinder and Bumble don't rank, and Zeusk is actually the top ranked app amongst these five in the US for social networking. Uh, and again, you also have the ability to kind of pivot between downloads and grossing rank. Let's jump into the downloads tab. So again, we're trying to give you visualizations that make it really easy to understand an app's performance relative to a few other apps. Um, in this case, again, we can see that Tinder is blowing away the competition, um, which makes it actually a little hard to see how these other apps are performing. So let's uncheck that. Cool. So what we can see now is that Zeus actually generates, outside of Tinder, uh, the most downloads out of these five apps over time. And it looks like it's been consistently doing so for the last year. Um, you can slice this visualization uh, by different markets as well. So we're looking worldwide, but you can look at, for instance, the United States. We give you the history over time. And then we give you the breakdown by market. So what you can see is that for Zeus, the U.S. makes up 60, or call it 61% of their worldwide downloads, which works out to roughly 1.2 million downloads. So again, it's a very easy way to compare uh, apps, markets, and downloads uh, all side by side. Uh, let's take a look at revenue. So again, we're trying to give you a visualization that just makes it super easy to understand what's happening. Again, Tinder uh, kind of crushing the competition here in terms of revenue. Um, if we uncheck that, we can see it uh, looks like Zeus again uh, is kind of the leader in revenue gen. Um, and then we can slice that by, again, different markets, different time periods. Um, whoops. Switch that back to 365. You can look at average revenue per user. Zeus, uh, again, crushing the competition here. Is that Tinder back? Yep. So earning roughly. Uh, Man, almost $10 per user, whereas Tinder's making about four. Uh, we break down the source of that revenue. So in-app purchases, in advertising, and paid downloads. We can see that no one, <laughs> no one's charging for a paid download. Uh, we can see money made by advertising is pretty much negligible. Uh, they're pretty much all making their money via in-app purchases, which makes sense. It's just kind of the model. Uh, and then we show you that revenue history over time. Um, you can break that down by total, uh, split out in-app purchases, or just look at ARPU. Um, and then again, this visualiza visualization is one of my favorites. Uh, we give you the country breakdown uh, for those revenue metrics, uh, and we can it gives you the ability to compare them side by side. Um, so again, uh, getting you to the insights faster without having to export everything into Excel. Um, engagement is probably... This is my favorite page. I think just the data on this is just so cool. Um, so we start off by showing you some stuff that you already know. Um, daily and monthly active users, we show that over time. Um, again, Tinder kind of crushing the competition, but if we uncheck it, uh, interestingly, uh, it looks like Bumble actually has a higher percentage of DAUs and MAUs um, month over month compared to these other apps. But Zeus is still beating it in terms of downloads and revenue. 
Um, so again, kind of really interesting uh, insights that we were able to get to in just a couple minutes. You still have the same toggles, so you can toggle by market and time period. Uh, we're looking at DAUs and MAUs here. Um, and then some other information we give you, we give you average sessions per user, average time spent per user, and uh, our own proprietary engagement index. Um, so what we can see is that, just looking at this, um, and this aligns with some of the DAU metrics we saw, uh, Bumble has really, really high engagement, even more so than Tinder and Zoosk. Um, and we can also see some of this stuff just by looking at uh, you know, the sessions per user and average time spent per user. We give you the breakdown as well of uh, uh, MAUs by market by app. So you can see that, okay, so for Zeusk, uh, the US market makes up roughly 60% of their monthly active users. Um, let's jump into retention. So retention gives you the ability to compare these different apps' retention curves against themselves, but then also compare them to uh, category averages. So it defaults to top overall, and already we can kind of see some pretty clear lines of delineation between these five apps. So it looks like OkCupid and, is that Zeusk? OkCupid and Zeusk uh, have much higher retention than Clover, Tinder, and Bumble. I mean, if you look at, man, just break this down a little bit more. Yeah, so Bumble has uh, tons of DAUs and MAUs, um, but the retention rate is actually really low. Um, then we give you kind of a much simpler visualization so you can just compare these things together. Last but not least is audience. Um, and in this view, we're really just trying to sh show you uh, the demographics or kind of the users behind the app. So we can see that the age curve is pretty similar uh, in terms of these apps, uh, primarily used by those, um, you know, 21 to 30 or thereabouts. Um, it looks like Tinder might be a little bit younger or, or lean towards a younger age range, probably not 11, but, you know, maybe 18 to 20. Um, and then we give you uh, kind of the gender breakdowns. So again, I'm just looking at this as a snapshot. I can see that Zeusk uh, has a much higher percentage of men. Um, but if I look at OkCupid, it looks like it probably has the highest percentage of women relative to these other apps. Uh, even prob yeah, it looks like it's even comparable to Bumble. Um, we also show um, cross app usage. So what we can say is looking at um, uh, all the other apps that a user might have on their phone, what categories of apps are they most likely to be using? So we can see that, um, for instance, Zeusk, uh, looks like it overlaps a little bit with social networking, but you compare that to Clover Dating and it's just, you know, it <laughs> blows it away. Um, we take it also a level deeper, so you can actually look at specific apps and their likelihood to be used by users of, for instance, Zeus or OkCupid. So here I see plenty of fish. So this is already interesting. So we can see that Clover and OkCupid, um, they have relative, their users are of the same likelihood to be using plenty of fish. But for Bumble, their users are much less likely to be using plenty of fish. Um, and you can find other examples of these uh, where you can kind of understand uh, where audiences have similarities and where they differ. So if you think about it in just, man, maybe five minutes or so, we are able to really kind of crack the code on these five different dating apps and get it insights tied to uh, the people who use them, the revenue they generate, um, as well as their downloads. And you could get at this information um, otherwise, but it would probably would have taken you an hour. Um, and that's really what Compare Apps is all about. It's about making it easier to get to the insights that actually matter to you without having to go through a bunch of busy work. Um, well, we hope that you uh, enjoyed this demo. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. You can email sales at aptopia.com or success at aptopia.com, and we'd love to get in touch with you. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you later.